This is Nick. This is Jack. And this is Robin Hood Snacks. It's Tuesday, October 6th. We're coming at you not live from Vermont to California. It's like a coast to coast thing. Jack's in a landlocked state. We're not going to hold it against him. This is Robin Hood Snacks Digestible Financial News. We got two wonderful stories for you. Jack, kick it off, please. A pharma stock just jumped as Trump takes a COVID cocktail. And cooler screens is turning fridges into ads. Jack, for our first story, President Trump was just diagnosed on Friday with COVID-19. Did you know on Friday he also got a drug cocktail prepared by the company Regeneron? We're talking about a drug cocktail made up of eight grams of monoclonal antibodies which boost his immune system to take on COVID. Nick, that's like arming the president's blood with a basilisk tooth to take on all the horcruxes. That's what antibodies do. Now the drug is not approved by the FDA yet, but that incredibly high profile first patient got the stock price a 7% jump. So Jack, what's the takeaway for our buddies over at Regeneron? This is an earned media jackpot for Regeneron. Snackers, if you've got a great product, you still gotta get discovered. You gotta convince people to use your product. And for most companies, that means paying a ton of money for ads so people can discover you. That's why every NFL game is a few plays, but mainly drug ads and then a bunch of like really, 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 really fine print, fast, 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 fast print. About Cialis. About Cialis. Now, if the news or the media cover your product on their own volition, that's as good as ads, but it's free. It's called earned media. And Regeneron just got a Super Bowl's worth of ads in a single weekend for free. For our second story, Jack, Cooler Screens just raised $80 million to turn your bodega's fridge into ad space. A three-year-old company based in Chicago, Cooler Screens, Double Entendre. They basically turn a cooler door at a grocery store into a smart screen. It's like a human-sized iPad. But here's the thing, maybe they're just gonna show you, you know, digitally what's in the fridge, like a Coke or a Sprite or an Aquafina. Or they hope they'll show you a paid ad for the one company that wanted to feature their product. Case in point, let's say it's 99 degrees outside. Boom, you see the ice cream Snickers bar like snowboarding down an avalanche because that's what you should buy. It's extreme. Snackers, fridge doors are the latest frontier in advertising. The first frontier was radio, then newspapers, then TV. Now they're on Lakers jerseys. LeBron ad. That's why Walgreens in Chicago has 50 of their stores with these cooler screens. Turns out that sales of products that advertise with cooler screens end up jumping two to 10X just by using the product according to Cooler Springs. Which is exactly why they're expanding to 2,000 more Walgreens. Jack, what's the takeaway for our buddies over at Cooler Screens? The closer to a decision point, the more valuable the ad. Snackers, Tropicana would way rather pitch you an orange juice when you're in the store already thirsting an orange juice, not when you're at home. Guess what? That's exactly what Cooler Screens does. They wait until you're deciding what to buy and then they show you the ad. And they could be coming to a fridge near you. Nick, a lot of ads in today's show. By the way, Snackers, if you see a fridge talking to you with an ad, tweet us at Robin and Snacks. Make sure you check us out daily by following us right here on Instagram at Robin and Snacks. Or subscribe on YouTube at youtube.com slash Robin Thanks for snacking. We'll see you tomorrow. See you there.